In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three banner design slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, you can see this is skeleton. And uh, when I click, the first text will come from here. Then the second text, the, the third text. Let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here it rolls down. Then you can add your title, the detailed text along with the icon and then on my next click it will come with a different color combination a gradient fill and then again for the third click it comes with this purple color and i have made one more slide where i have just put only two options with the red color only you can see here something like this and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel and I have added a WhatsApp group with this link. You can just join my group for the latest update on my channel. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to select the trapezoid, draw the trapezoid, maybe this much size and you can reduce the size and you can make it the small orange point something like this drag this inside and then right mouse click go to format shape under effects you can see here 3d rotation click on presets and i'm going to select this one which is perspective relax moderately click it here and then go to 3d format and depth increase the depth maybe i can make it 9 or 10 or maybe i can give 12 also then you can go to the shape outline any gold color you can give something like this and here inside shape fill you can give some light gray color you can see here light gray color you can give something like this put this down then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval draw a small oval shape you can see here hold the shift key then shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to the effects go to 3d format sorry go to 3d rotation and from the parallel i'm going to select this one off axis one top you can see here again go to 3d rotation increase the depth how much you need maybe three or four and then again shape fill i'm going to give the same golden color and then just put it here exactly in the center something like this then i'm going to add one rod for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and again put it exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill so here i have used the gold color you can see here one place i have used the dark and then the other three stops i have just used the light color so you can use this color combination so once this is done, I'm going to add something on the top. So let me just reduce the size a little bit. You can see here and this size fits OK. Then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. And this one, I'm going to reduce the size, hold the shift key, reduce the size. You can see here and put it here. So it looks somewhat like this. I want to give more uh, flat effect, go to effects and then you go to the 3d rotation you can see here these are some points so you can just use this y rotation you can see here you can just click it down so it looks like this let me just zoom in and then just put it exactly at the top and here also make sure that this is exactly in the center so let me just put it in center this also it should be in the center so once this is done i'm going to add one more uh, small oval shape on the top go to shape select the oval shape and draw the oval shape by holding the shift key a small one something like this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select this go to home and from the format painter i'm just going to click this and if you want you can just change the the direction also the type also if you want you can make it radial also or you can keep it linear so whatever way you want you can just keep it and let me just zoom in a little bit and i'm going to put it exactly at the top so it looks something like this 
the next step is i'm going to add one banner in that case i'm going to select the rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle again depending on your requirement you need big wider or whatever again put exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to select the gradient fill so instead of this uh, four stops i'm just going to use two stops i'm deleting the two stop the first stop i'm going to give some dark red color you can see here something color like this and the other side i'm just going to make it the color which is somewhat lighter red whichever way you feel better and then you can select linear and then direction whichever way you want you can just select the direction and then i'm going to add one more rectangle let me just select this reduce the size further you can see here this much size and you can increase the width bring it on the top something like this exactly in the center and then i'm going to add one more stop here which is again some dark red color you can go to more colors customs and you can increase the shade so here also i'm going to add one more which is the same darker color so it looks something like this you can see here then what i'm going to do these two shapes i'm going to select let me just select these two shapes press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here and ctrl g to group it hold the shift key reduce the size rotate you can see a rotate right 90 degrees i'm just going to attach it here press ctrl d bring the other side again rotate I can see uh, simply I can flip horizontal and put it the other side here. So it looks like this and then I'm going to create one kind of a wire which is going to hang. Let me just zoom in. For that go to insert shapes. I'm going to select this uh, freeform shape. From here I'm going to just click it here. You can see here double click and shape outline you can give somewhat three points maybe and shape outline the color i'm going to use the dark color the same gold color again if you want to edit this one right mouse click edit points and if you can just put it properly like this then i'm going to add again go to insert shapes again free form from here it is going and resting here again select this one go to home format painter click it here so it looks something like this you can see here the design looks something like this and if you feel that this is too much top in that case you can just select this and bring it down also so whichever way you want you can do it and at the end also if you feel it is one more i'm just going to add one more some darker color here so that uh, it looks nice let me just go to this and just increase the size and so it looks something like this a curved one here so with this we have completed the basic design and then it's time to add the text here so let me just go to insert text box and i'm going to add the title here and the font i'm going to choose white font and i'm going to set the hand of sean this font center align if you want increase the size something like this and if you're using some latest version of powerpoint you can add some icons here any good icon you can just select from this list for example i'm going to select this insert and again graphic fill make it white put it here and then you can add some detailed text so equals l-o-r-e-m it will give some latin text let me just select again white font hand of sean or any other font better reduce the size maybe you can give justify and you can add something like this you can see here let me just remove the guide so it looks something like this the final design so now i'm going to select this rectangle hold the shift key select the text the icon and the detail text press ctrl g to group it all right and then i can just move this and bring it here you can see here and if you want to add one more i can just press ctrl d to duplicate you can just add one more here and then you can just go and change the color as per your requirement 
make sure it's center aligned press ctrl a to select all and then just uh, put it exactly in the center and then uh, to do the animations let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane select this one go to add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to select stretch click ok go to the effect options and just say from top so it comes like this and i'm going to just select this animation painter click on this so if i do the slideshow it looks something like this this is just a basic you can see a skeleton kind of thing when i click it comes the text and again the text comes something like this and if you have space you can add uh, one more by reducing the size of this one so this is the the design you can do it in your uh, regular presentations